ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. And Richard, it was an update from the start to the finish. Boy, you know, we've seen a few of those. Like yeah. the Dow Jones Industrial Average has been up six days in a row. Remember last week when everybody was concerned? Oh, my goodness. Right. No concern right now. We're seeing very much stability in the marketplace, and certainly after the last couple of weeks, we're very happy to see that. And believe it or not, the Dow Jones Industrial Average now for the year is back in plus territory. Yes, we were up 11% in January. We lost it all, and we're down by 10% as time went on. Little by little, yes indeed, we're back to plus territory. So that's kind of a nice way. Let's take a look and see exactly how we finished the day. The Dow with a gain of 197 points, eight tenths of 1% at 24,739.53. That on volume of 844 million shares. The NASDAQ up nine tenths of 1%, 65 points, 7,404.98. That on volume of 1,702 million shares. And the S&P, the best measure of the market, and the best move of the day, up by more than nine tenths of one percent, more than 25 points at 2,723.07. Well, my friend and colleague Scott Dennis kind of likes cars, so I'm going to talk about a brand new car that Scott just might want to take a look at. Rolls Royce today announced they are coming out with a brand new SUV. It's called a Cullinan. That's spelled C U L L I N A N. And for those of you who don't know, that's the name of the world's largest diamond. I didn't know that, but I guess I know it now. And believe it or not, Bentley and Lamborghini have already announced plans for an SUV. If you'd like to buy one, you certainly can. There'll be delivery at the end of this year. $400,000 approximately, depending on what your options are. And certainly there are a lot of options out there. Certainly it's got a cooler, champagne glasses, you name it. It's an SUV. Uh, <laughs> it's an SUV for... Well, I think Scott would probably like it. Yeah, top of the <laughs> line there. Yeah. Wow. I'm not going to, I wouldn't do any off-roading with that. I for expect sure. not, but it can. Yeah, I guess it <laughs> yeah, can. It yeah. surely can. Well, any news for us on General Motors? Yeah, very interesting. General Motors shares are up 2.5% today by default because Ford announced it had mm -hmm. to stop producing its Ford F-150 pickup trucks because of supply problems through one of their vendors. And General Motors could very well be a beneficiary of that. Absolutely. Surprising. All right, thanks, Richard. You're welcome.